Hello there, Tom Fazard from New Berlin. As we know, email is an extremely popular mode of communication. Unfortunately, the bad guys have started to use it as well. I wanted to use this video to offer you some very good reminders about what to look for in what could be a potentially harmful email, at least one that's suspect. I'm sure you've seen many of these hints before, but it's always good to review them to make sure that at least your guard is up when a funny looking email comes through. First off, uh, no salutation. And that's the, the name, the hello part, etc. Keep in mind that the bad guy doesn't know who this is going to. In fact, it's going to any number of thousands or millions of people with different names. He's not going to put a name out there at the beginning because if it doesn't arrive at somebody with that name, it'll be rejected quickly. So if it doesn't have a salutation out there, it could be suspect. But think logically. A lot of these have offers for unclaimed money, an inheritance sitting out there. I mean, think about it logically. If somebody has this money to give away, would he really tell you about it? Of course not. He would keep it to himself. Wouldn't need your involvement. And similar to number one, there's no name at the end, no signature. And it's for the same reason. Let's say the spagammer signs off with Bob. Well, if it goes to somebody who doesn't know a Bob, it'll be rejected easily. So again, another suspect angle is that there's no name at the end, no signature. A lot of these emails have a link inside. They want you to click on that and ultimately cough up your pertinent details such as your social security number or bank accounts. If you're curious as to whether that's a valid link, a lot of times they come from or supposedly from a business that you know or maybe the entire email is set up to look like it's coming from a legitimate business, what's known as phishing. Look at that link, well, put your cursor on it and then look at the bottom part of your screen, the usually called the taskbar area. The URL for that link will show up. That's not something the bad guy can do anything about. That will show the actual address or path. Of that particular link. And you'll see it is not coming from a legitimate firm such as Microsoft or your local bank. Now, the key is to put your cursor over the link, but do not click. Just place it over there, and that will cause the URL to pop up. These are some thoughts to consider if you're wondering whether that email is legitimate. Of course, you can always contact the firm that may have been inside the phishing message. Any other suggestions or like some more hints? Check out my web sites. Good luck. Bye-bye.